All right, I'm at a vacant property here today, and the reason for that is we are expecting a first freeze of the season. So we wanna make sure that the property is winterized so that when you come back in a couple weeks, whether it's to show the property or you have a tenant ready to move in in a couple weeks, you don't walk in and there's a hole in the ceiling with water running down due to a burst pipe. You know, this would cause major issues for all parties involved, not to mention a lot of money to you, the landlord. So what we need to do first is shut off the main water line as well as the hose bibs to make sure that there's not water running through all of the pipes. So uh, what we need to do is find those shut off valves first. Usually they're gonna be in the utility room. So we will go look there first. All right, so here we have found the utility closet. So there's your HVAC system, hot water heater. And then if you look behind up there, we've got the two hose bib shut offs up top, the front and the rear. And then if you look behind here, you've got the main water shutoff valve there. So uh, what we're gonna wanna do is get up here, get to these hose bibs. So after this, we can go check the hose bibs themselves, uh, but we'll get up here and you wanna make sure they are completely turned to the right to shut them off and close off the water. And that should do it. And then from there, we're going to reach back in here and get that main shut off and it's going to want to be perpendicular to the line itself and then from there we will go test the hose bibs all right so we've shut off the valves now we have found the hose bib itself this is the front hose bib so we'll go ahead and open it up all the way and let anything that's in there drain out so you can see on this one just a few drops here uh, mostly drained so you can leave it open for a couple minutes just make sure it's clear all the way and then you can come back and close it later you also we're going to also repeat the exact same step with the rear hose bib so same process all right now that we've taken care of the main valves and the exterior we'll move on to the interior what you want to do is just open up the faucets throughout the house so upstairs downstairs turn on some showers if you want uh, once you do that you will see that the water immediately begins to slow and then just leave it open again for a few minutes. That way all of them have time to drain out. And then once that's done, you can close everything. And that way you know that the lines have been clear. So now that we've taken care of the water lines, let's do one last step and that is turn the heat on. Uh, what you wanna do is change it to, obviously you wanna get the heat on uh, in order to warm the house. You don't need to keep it high, but it's a good idea to actually right around uh, between 50 and 55, I would say. So we'll do uh, somewhere in the middle there, 53 degrees. This is just extra insurance to maintain some warmth in the home and to assist with the winterization process. We hear the sink in there finishing up draining. So while that's going on, I'll just recap basically what you wanna do when you have a vacant property in the winter months and especially during you know the freezing season, then you want to get in there uh, shut off the valve, so the hose bibs, however many there are, as well as the main water line. Then you wanna open those hose bibs, clear out the water that's in there, same thing inside, open them, let them drain, then you can close them again after. And as far as the hose bibs, even if the property is not vacant, that's something you should do uh, yourself for the home you live in. That just prevents those exterior bibs from freezing and bursting and causing you uh, undue uh, distress. So again, a great thing to keep in mind is the winterization of your home. And that way you have one less thing to worry about and some added peace of mind.